Well, hello, stamping friends. It's Tracy Rather from Plum Crazy Stamping. So glad that you're with me today for Facebook Live. It's August 30th, 2023, and what a great summer it's been, right? We have had so much fun crafting, and I can't wait to go into September with some of the things that we have coming up, including the new mini catalog. So I'll just remind you right now that next week, Wednesday, we're going to be doing an overview of the new catalog. Also, if you've ordered with me in the last six months, um, your catalogs are in the mail. So be watching for them. If you need a catalog, please email me at Tracy, T-R-A-C-I, at PlumCrazyStamping.com. And I can pop one in the mail to you. All I need is your email address, mailing address, and a phone number, and when I can reach you so that I can make sure that you get your catalog. Anyway, a couple other reminders for the beginning of this month, but I am going to flip the camera down so you can see things on my desktop. And I'll just remind you to please sign in, let me know where you're watching from, and use the comments for any questions or feedback you have on today's project. So let me just flip this upside down for a moment. There, and you should be able to see the desktop here, and I am just going to get my computer caught up as well. So with it being August 30th, I just want to remind you that this month, the free tutorial, four card tutorial that I have for you with a $50 purchase from my um, Stampin' Up! store is the Hello Irresistible Suite. And this is that suite of products that is in the online exclusives. So these are the stamps, sentiments, and die cuts leaves you can uh, die cut these flowers um that's what's available in the suite and then there is also designer series paper 48 sheets and so there are um two sides to each uh, package of paper so here's just a peek at what's available in this suite so if you happen to already have this, this tutorial would be wonderful to help you use this. And the tutorial has colored pictures as well as supply lists and cutting measurements. So once again, that is free with a $50 purchase from Plum Crazy Stamping by tomorrow. Also, so um, with the end of the month coming, we've been celebrating kits. So Stamping Up, in addition to Paper Pumpkin, has kits that are available all the time, only in the online store, which is in my newsletter, or you can just um, put Plum Crazy Stamping, get to my website, and my store is there. And right now, uh, until tomorrow, these kits are up to 30% off. So they're a wonderful uh, discount. So for your own stamping or for gift giving, these are awesome. So today I'm gonna be featuring the Forever Friends Kit. So as I said, you order these anytime you want. And um, this one has uh, two cards, four cards each for a total of eight cards. So we have a stamp set here. If I show it like this, you'll probably be able to see it. I already have them mounted on my uh, acrylic blocks. They come with matching envelopes. We've got linen thread and beautiful Calypso coral. You get a stamping block, an acrylic block, to mount your uh, photopolymer stamps on. You get adhesive. Now this kit is going to have um, the special, oh, I don't know what you would call this. Um, it's not the round dimensionals, but strips. So we're going to be using that for our project today. Always there is at least one Stampin' Spot. So this one has Knight of Navy. And I'm going to use my own Knight of Navy pad just because it's already opened up here. Let me get the box out of the way, and then you keep these great boxes for storing things. 
All right, let's take a peek. So every kit also has color directions. And when you get it, you can look on the back cover here and see exactly what is in your kit. Um, some people have told me that if there is any, ever anything missing, you just contact Stampin' Up! They send it to you. There are two QR codes here for how to put together the projects if you don't happen to see a demonstration like I'm going to share with you today. And there's also all the colors that are used in this project so that if you want to create your own alternatives and not necessarily make the projects that are in the kit, you can know that Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Night of Navy, Old Olive, and Petal Pink will match all of the die cuts, the envelope, and the other uh, card base, etc. in this kit. Okay? So when we get started, you open this up. And it will tell you for project one, or card one, these are all the pieces that you'll need. So I already have them assembled for our card one, which I'll be um, putting out here in just a moment. Then for card two, here it is. And then there are very detailed instructions to do each project. So let me just show you the detail of the first project here. And I'm going to go ahead and I've assembled all of the pieces from the kit for this project. So obviously I have my envelope, which is scored. I use my uh, bone folder to just um, get that crease there and we're ready to go. And let's see here. All right, my computer is acting up. There we go. I want to make sure that I can see your comments. So Jill, hello. Kathy, hello. Nice to see you here. All right, then we have this beautiful card base. Once again, this is also scored. So I will just uh, crease that on the score line. And we'll have our card front ready to go. Then we have the card front which we're going to do some stamping on we have just an accent piece here for our um, card front as well we have the um, sentiment label which we're going to do some stamping on and we have 10 inches of our calypso coral linen thread which we're going to be putting on the card so let me go ahead and get my pierce mat because i'll just remind you this is a photopolymer set so having the cushion of the pierce mat helps to get the best um, stamping results so we're going to not only we're going to do this uh card front. We're also going to do the sentiment label. Let me just open up my Knight of Navy here, kind of set our adhesive out of the way. And um, we've already got these mounted, so we're actually going to do some outlining of the images on this card front to make them pop. So let's just... Um, Take the flower stamp. I'm just going to move the sentiment off to the side there. And uh, ink this up in the Knight of Navy. And then I'm just going to line it up with um, the flowers that are on here. So I just kind of have to take a peek. And then the nice thing is with photopolymer stamps, you can see right through them. And we're just going to go around the different flower images that are here and keep um, lining this up so and even on the edges of the cardstock we have uh, some of the flowers and you know it'd be nice if they keep all the flowers in the same direction but of course they don't so let's see this one here. Line that up. If it doesn't match perfectly, it doesn't matter. It just shows it off a little bit, which is nice. And I do have um, something on top of my pierce mat here so that I can do these flowers that are on the edges.
I think you can see what a difference it makes when we have the native navy versus not having any um, outline around the flower. So it really does make a difference. Okay, here we go for this one. There we go. So we have all of the flowers outlined. And at this one, they don't want us to, the instructions will say anything about the leaves, but you could obviously do that if you want to. Um, but I think we'll go with what the instructions have provided to us this time. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the sentiment. And we're going to use the sending lots of hugs. So, you know, one of the nice things when you have a photopolymer stamp like this, now I have not stamped this yet, so you want to condition your stamps by putting the ink on, stamping it off. You can wash it with your chamois to get the best um, stamped image. Okay, and I'm just going to center this on that sentiment label. There we go, we have our sending lots of hugs. And then also on the inside of the card, I wanna go ahead and stamp as well. So I'm just gonna open this up. These are just white on the inside. I'm gonna use the um, sentiment that came in the kit. This one says, I'm always here for you no matter what. So I guess when we're sending somebody hugs, this is also just letting them know that you're there for them. So I'm just gonna center this. And we've got that inside. Okay. Now let's go ahead and assemble the card. I'm gonna move my ink out of the way. So in this one, we're just going to take the card front and flip it over here and I'm actually gonna use four strips. So just another way to, um, another kind of adhesive that you can see how you can use this. These strips of adhesive are also really nice if you're making a shaker card and trying to put some confetti inside a, um, you know, a window of some sort that you've made on your card. So you can order these from um, Stampin' Up rather than just getting the dimensionals. You can get the dimensional strips. All right. So now I'm just going to take the adhesive off the top here. and then go ahead and put that on our card. So this one is going to be a portrait card. Let's just put it this way. And I'm just gonna center this on my card front. And I'm gonna lay it down and then not press really hard until I get it lined up. One of the things, this card base does have polka dots on it so I can use them to line it up. There we go. And then I'm going to add the um, the decorative uh, green piece that we have here. And the directions are still using. This is how you can use the strips uh, to do this. Oh, it's saying cut this in half. Let me go ahead and do that. And I'll put one going this way. Oops, got a little crooked. And one going this way. Oh. The good thing is, know that it can be repositionable if you don't press too hard right off the bat. All right, there we go with that. And 
and I'm just going to place this about two-thirds of the way up. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to take the sentiment, and so this will sit on top. I'm going to put the um, strip on the top of my sentiment label because it's going to sit on top of this accent piece, and I'm going to use just a half again. Keep the other one just attached over here. And I want to put this up towards the top. There we go. Take that wrapper off. And then I'm just going to loop my uh, linen thread for there to be an accent here. Okay. And then I'm going to have that go across the um, dimensional strip. Just kind of hold that in place and then attach this center to the top. And then you have some of the string linen thread, if you will, hanging out. I'm going to just cut this section a little bit. There we go. All right, for a little um, decoration. And there we have our first card. How simple is that? So if you didn't have a card kit, you could use any floral stamp set that you have, make your own background, and get some um, designer series paper leftovers that you have and do this and then put some linen threads. So know that these ideas that you see in this set can always be used uh, for your own stamping with the supplies you have at home. All right, let's go ahead and look at the second project we have here. And I'm going to get out those pieces. All right, so we have another beautiful envelope. Once again, I'll just remind you, this is the Forever Friends kit. And hi, Bonita. Glad to see that you're here. Go ahead and use the bone folder on this card base, too. There we go. I love the metallic stripe on here so pretty okay so this one is going to be a landscape card this time so let's just kind of keep that off to the side we have some stamping to do and adding outlines to this card front we have a sentiment label that we're going to be stamping on as well as we have more linen thread we'll be putting in here and we'll also stamp the inside of our card why don't we go ahead and get our stamping done first so I'm going to first use the forever friends and we're going to put that on our sentiment label and just Center that. Sorry to get my hair in the way there. There we have that. And then I'm going to do the inside of the card too. So we'll have that. Let's go ahead with this. And this one says, I'm always here for you no matter what. I'll tell you, between kits and paper pumpkin, I get a lot of extra sentiment sets in particular. And so saving them whenever I'm making cards give me so many more options to um, express things in my cards. So I'll just encourage you, you keep them and kind of keep track of what they all say. And you have a whole uh, another um, resource for your card making. All right, so here we go with the um, 
going around the flowers again so I'm just kind of looking where it matches up and I do need to move it a little closer so I can see where to place that and we'll do the second flower as well let's see here There we go with the second one. Now this time around, we are going to um, use the um, stamp for the leaves. So just do the same thing in lining these up. One right on, one not so much right on. Hey, boy. There. And you know, like I said, if it's a little bit to the side, it still looks pretty and it's art, right? So, um, I just really think that the Knight of Navy really does add quite a bit of an accent to this card. And we'll do that over the yellow tiny flowers we have going on here. All right, there. Very nice. It really makes the card pop by doing that outlining. So know that if you don't have stamps that match an outline, you can always take the Knight of Navy marker, a black marker, and you can make outlines around your floral images too. So just another design technique that you can put in place if you're so inclined. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to flip this over and add the uh, strips again to the back of this. This time we're going to just put three along the back so I'm interested have you tried any of the um, kits from Stampin Up and if so do you have a favorite I see that you got the for the guys kit Kathy Hopefully, um, I don't know if you've put it together yet and what you think about that, but I'm sure you're going to have some happy guys when you get them in the mail. Let's go ahead and center this. Let's see which way we're going to go this way and just center. And like I said, until I can move my hands away, I don't press. There we go. Make sure it's centered. And then we're going to take the Forever Friends and we're going to do the same thing with our twine, our linen thread. I always mix up twine and linen thread. Just put that half a piece on there. And I'm going to loop this around again just to give us, you know, some more interest to the card, not just having um, all of the straight stamping. So we'll hook this up by just connecting it. And I'm going to actually bring this up again to add a little more interest. And then center this on the front of our card. I'm going to put it down just a little bit. I want to see more of that one flower. There we go. And there is our second flower or card of the kit. And no, like I said, the kit makes four of each of these, but you could also use this to um, make your own cards if you wanted to have more than eight cards. So um, 
just another example of what you can get in our kit collection. As a reminder, still up to 30% discount on kits that are in uh, the online store right now. And um, I want to thank you for joining me and checking these out. Also remember, if you order a kit between today and tomorrow, I am doing a free kit event, which is an online crop on Zoom for anyone that purchases Paper Pumpkin or a kit from me before uh, the end of the day on August 31st. So I hope that you um, get a kit and choose to join us. I'm actually going to be doing a prize drawing. We'll be looking at all kinds of kits and we'll spend time together making our kits so that you can see what other people do with their kits. So once again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at Tracy, T-R-A-C-I, at PlumCrazyStamping.com. So as today comes to a close for our Facebook Live, I just say happy stamping, and I'll see you next Wednesday when we get to look at our new mini catalog. Lots of fall, lots of Halloween, and lots of Christmas ideas. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.